Nation. One fall to a finish. No DQ. No counter. of tonight's card. C4 title on the line. Champion Josh Alexander defends against Lou Fisto, Dr. Bob. In the history of C4 wrestling, that title has been defended against some of the biggest names in Canadian wrestling. It is only fitting that Lou Fisto gets her opportunity tonight. Not only is Lou Fisto one of the biggest names in Canadian wrestling history, I would dare say she is one of, if not the most important Women a wrestler in the history of independent wrestling as well. And tonight, if she could put her stamp here and lay her name across the history of C4 champions, what a fitting way to end off whatever I believe her last year of her career here, she said. My goodness, Mephisto has been everywhere. She's wrestled every big name. And even that story that Josh Alexander posted earlier this week, Necro Butcher, Lefisto, he was there live, and it was one of the matches that influenced him the most in his entire life. Both competitors in this match have a ton of respect for one another, but respect only gets you so far. It's a matter of putting the other one down. Lefisto falling to the size advantage of Alexander Early. I could fight him back. Lefisto defeated the Beast King in a match 23 years in the making. This match oh. has been 13 years in the making oh. for Josh Alexander. No respect there. He will not be intimidated by the legacy of Lefisto. Lefisto, ladies and gentlemen, has had a 23-year career. She has fought the best. She has traveled all across the world. And Josh Alexander certainly is one of the best here today in 2019. They say you're only as good as your last match. And if this is her last match here tonight, who knows? If this is, man, she's going to go out in a blaze of glory. And Fisto, always the crafty veteran, goes to the floor. Look, we're not blind. We're not trying to pull the wool over your eyes. On paper, Josh Alexander outranks Lufisto on every perceivable measure you would think. But you're talking about the intangibles, that experience level, that fight, that heart. Lufisto wants to punch it out. Get in shades of Necro Butcher. She broke her hand over Necro's head. Trust you, Ree, she is not afraid of the walking weapon. Is this going to happen? Is this going to happen here? And Blum's stuck all over again. Why are you giving Josh the first punch? Oh! No! Ladies first! Oh! Psyched him out! That headgear is doing nothing to protect across the face. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Whoa! Josh! Oh! Oh! Dr. Bob is an extremely short list. A female talent that have challenged the C4 title. Lou Fisto. Oh, no. oh my, might be put away right now. Oh no! Power driver across an elevated chair. That would be it for this matchup. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Sweeps the leg! Ah! Oh, that goes again! Lou Fisto came here to fight! And she was once booked as from Tokyo, Quebec. And trust you me, she can kick with a vent of the books. Nearly every big 
game that's come out of women's wrestling, the fact that Mephisto is a hand of training them. But that old good saying goes, they, she might have taught them everything they know, but she didn't teach them everything she knows, and she's teaching Josh Alexander a lesson here tonight. Vanessa Craven was unsuccessful in challenging Colby Durst. The C4 title. Will Lufisto have better luck here with Josh Alexander? Not at this rate. And there's a lot of bravado in Lufisto, but I don't think should be should be, should be trading chops. Apologies with Josh Alexander. That's not a war you're gonna win. Chops his hand across the post, throws his head there. And just say got the time to turn. And the wounded owl looking to wound her opponent. It was the first title reign of Josh Alexander that ushered in Roman's rules, made C4 title matches, no DQ, no count out. And his second title reign could end very abruptly here. Oh my god, speed of ending abruptly. No. Lufisto able to fight him off, throws those kicks, cannonball! And the legend knocks down the bigger, stronger opponent, the champion here in C4. Adam, I thought it was going to be quite like a Cinderella story for Lufisto, but it's becoming more of a nightmare for Josh Alexander here. One would have given early on the striking advantage of Josh Alexander, but hope to cut out Lufisto. Oh, never count out Lufisto. She's made a career against fighting bigger, harder, faster opponents. Oh, gets clobbered. Oh, oh my. No, what the? You gotta wonder what exactly Lefisto will put her body through. A lesser soul, a lesser individual would just have stayed down and taken a loss. And you see Josh getting frustrated. That temper starting to flare. Hey, both of these competitors have overcome so much and such big injuries in their career. They are not quitters by any means. These two are veritable warriors. You're absolutely right, Dr. Bob. Lufisto survived cancer, survived a stroke to get back in the ring. Josh Alexander, one time considered out of the game with neck injuries, came back better than ever. Now the back goes to the pit. 100% agreed Adam B. They have overcome absolutely tremendous odds and clashing here for the C4 title, the richest prize in the game here. Surfboard. Traps Lufisto. Oh, no, 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 get off the hair, off the hair. Elevates her body. Flips over, Alvin. Doesn't get much out of it, but able to turn the tide on Alexander. Lufisto, no, planted. My goodness. Alexander picking up his smaller opponent in the air with such authority. Even a simple textbook move like a suplex looks like a mass ender when coming from the walking weapon. And again, it shows you the respect Alexander has for Lufisto. You're not seeing a look of amazement, of surprise on Alexander. He knew what Lufisto's capable of in the ring. He knew this was going to be a war. with many, many a lack of late for both of these competitors from the bottom of my heart. I know they are two of the absolute best in all of Canada. What a war we're seeing here. Serge St. Denis on top of it. Fans not happy with the actions of Josh Alexander. Calling back Lufisto. 
Our second title match of the evening has been an absolute war. And I am loving every single second of it. This match is everything I hope for and more. Lufisto fights out. He got Clobber right in the back. Finds himself in the bottom turnbuckle. Right this is Lufisto territory here. Todd Alexander by surprise. What was I saying? Oh no, tiny kick. Oh, oh. no. No, 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 no. Yo, no, Lufisto fights him off. Boot, headbutt. Lufisto gonna find the power. This is amazing to be here live for this. C4 championship being defended here on the first half of the card. My goodness, what else do we have in store for tonight? <laughs> Gonna be a lot of mayhem. Fighting back. Both on their feet still. Off comes the protector. Whoa. That is elbow bone on baseball. Just skin to skin, bone to bone. And Alexander wants this from Lufisto. They say never meet your hero. Well, he's trying to beat his hero here. Through the headgear right to the face of Lufisto. Oh. Shocking a lot of people in this crowd. Gets caught. Uh, you know, crossbody Josh Alexander. Oh! Finley roll, but holds oh, on. Chris Big Ben! No! No! It's on New Force C4 Champion! Boot to the back of the head. Rip cord. No ducks under. Saido! Ducks the Lariat. Saido! Alexander's hurt. This is the prelude to the old tiny kicks. Oh! Out Alexander right in the side of the head. Challenger in control. Covers. Will we have Lufisto? No. Lufisto almost made history as the first ever female C4 champion. Fans, I don't know if I can say this, I know it's not very impartial, but, but this might be one of my favorite matches I've ever called. An amazing spectacle from Mephisto and Josh Alexander. Oh boy, this one for the burning hammer. I don't think she's ever picked up a burning hammer. Somebody for a burning hammer, it's quite the size of Josh Alexander. Seen a lot of power from Mephisto, but that's gonna take a lot of power. With the, no, sweeps the leg out. Brown's going for a Tiger driver. Oh, ankle lock. Ankle lock. Lufisto has three options. Find out. Pass out or tap out. We saw Shane Simmons pass out her. Oh, no. She's in bad positioning. Oh, no. Applies the grapevine. Lufisto close. Close. Go. Break the hole, Josh. Finding out her prediction, he got to the bottom rope. I, I, it, it irks me a little bit that he feels like he needs to take a few of these shortcuts to her. He could have just a straight up match here and try to best her skill for skill, but why does he need to go and take a few of these extra long rope breaks? Both on the apron now, dangerous territory. Might that be intimidation of Lufisto? Oh my, oh my. She's going to fight back whatever she has left. Ooh, no, no, no. That is going to stop.
Stop Your Heart. Stop Your Heart of Josh Ernufisto. Land a big impact maneuver on the apron. It's gonna break your neck. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is not gonna be good. What? The man came back from a near career ending, I would say life ending neck injury. And the man just got dumped on his head on the apron. It's only a matter of getting him in the ring now. Can't make the pin outside. It's a big man to try to move back in. He's heavy. Dead weight. Josh Alexander rolled back into the ring. And Lufisto put the finishing touches. He's moving just a little bit. Maybe a bit up too fast for Lufisto. She's got to get up there faster. How Alexander's even able to stand is amazing. Clobbers Lufisto. Lufisto still fighting him. Headbutt. Oh, I've seen this out of Luffy. Oh! That's a no tap! No tap! What? 10. Lifts up Alexander. Alexander able to avoid it. Oh, oh. cracks are in the back of the head. Picks up ship. Oh. Good night. Hooks the leg. No. No, sir. Well, this has got to escape the ring the longer. Oh. <laughs> right over the knee. No! Again, gets out of it. She's got to get out of the ring. This is the only way she's going to save herself. No! Oh, that's, oh, it. that's it. Side. Sit. What? No! No!
And here we go, the special challenge match. Mike Bailey scores off against Biff Busick, current reigning combat zone wrestling champion. Yes. And like I said earlier, Ali, we've seen a lot of CZW stars this past season. Each and every single one of them has made a mark in their debut. It's all up to Biff Busick, as you said, a champion. Facing off against Speedball Mike Bailey, who's been on a tear here in C4 Wrestling lately. He's been so focused. And Mike Bailey himself, he's made, he made quite the impact in CCW during the Best of the Best tournament. He is scheduled to be back there. And by Mike the Bailey summer, makes an impact. He, he does, he does. But Biff Busick, he's no slouch as well, too. He's a well-traveled wrestler on the Eastern Coast. He's wrestled, like I said, CCW. He's wow. What do you want? Mess that one up. He is. He's well versed, well known in the indie scene. Very accomplished wrestler. And the obvious size differential and muscle differential. I mean, like, yes, it's obvious. But if you've ever seen a Mike Bailey match, you know it's almost negligible. Mike Bailey, a black belt in Taekwondo, and, and he's fought many tournaments and won them. Mike Bailey has absolutely set C4 on fire this season. Last month he had probably what was match of the decade against Kevin Steen. Greatest, Greatest match ever. And that's saying something. Biff Busick now wearing down Once Bailey. Was George the Animal Steel wrestled a dolphin. And that match didn't even come to comparison between Mike Bailey and Kevin Steen. It was an amazing match. Busick. Oh, what a beautiful reversal. Oh, and then the transition right out from Busick, showing off his technical skills, his technical savvy, if you will. Mike Bailey did a springboard headlock takeover, but right away got reversed into leg scissors by Busick, and then the escape from Bailey. And if you watch Busick too, Ali, he's keeping his composure. He's not getting shook and easily he is by the kick. He is a champion. You don't want to become champion for losing your composure so easily in a matchup. It was back in January. Down now. It was back in January when we saw the then reigning champion Drew Gulak make his C4 debut. Biff Busick, of course, defeating Drew, I mean, Drew Gulak to win that CZW title, and that says something. Gulak put on quite the display in his match against Bucks Belmar, but like, but Biff Busick, he's currently the man on top of CZW. He wants to be the man on top, possibly in C4 wrestling as well. Called by back A. Sorry to cut you off, you were boring me. It took you too long to say that one sentence. It's like hooked on phonics didn't work for you, Adam. You might have to try it again. Headlock, side headlock applied. Busick wrenching on it. Wow, look at Busick just torque away at the net. And look at that, he's looking. Uh, he was looking to see if Bailey could reach the rope. Does Bailey reach that bottom rope? And Biff Busick now stalking Bailey. We've got a drunken old Canada song being sung by the crowd to fire up Mike Bailey as he pushes off the ropes. Doc Sonder. I don't think it's going to distract Music. Oh, Kevin! Oh! <laughs> this manages to pull it off as Mike Bailey wrenches on the side headlock after a headlock takeover. And this is a more mad based Mike Bailey than we've seen before. Like Mike Bailey's been keeping this on the mat. One has to wonder, though, if that's a smart strategy for Mike Bailey. Busick is known as a technical wrestler. Busick now grabs Bailey. Bailey takes him over again. I'm over again. I don't know what they're Bailey's singing. singing along with the crowd. Is he really? Yes. Oh! Cut off so unorthodox. And Ducks off. him under the top rope and then European uppercuts him off the top rope, springboarding him to the outside. And I doubt very much that Biff Busey came here to play games and to let the crowd get into his head. He's not enough. Really frustrated. He's not looking annoyed. He just looks perturbed. Sure. Just a little bit perturbed. Like somebody had rang his doorbell and then walked away. That's it. Oh. Maybe Mike Bailey shouldn't have played along with the crowd. Maybe he should have focused on the task at hand. He is in there against the champion. Busick now. Whoa. Wow! Big chop by Biff Busick. Bailey replies, not wanting to be outdone. 
Knee to the stomach. Bishop sends him in again. Oh! Biff Busick in total control now of this match. Lands it Bailey for another chop. Oh, and lands it. Another chop. Busick now stalking Bailey. What's well, going for here? Any freedom to breathe. Oh, another big chop, but Bailey stays on his feet. Karate chop back. And another chop by Busick. Chops pack. Take this into consideration, Ali. Busick, as soon as he's done this match, he's got to go back across the border. He's wrestling in Connecticut tomorrow. Definitely a travel warrior is Busick. Oh. And look at this. Call that Iron Man. Look at this, a stare down between Bailey and Busick. Bailey just stared him. Oh, what a hard chop. One of Busick's names in wrestling is the Star Destroyer. He's made his name by taking down some of the biggest names in independent wrestling. And right now he's looking down to take... Oh, and a beautiful European uppercut. Looking to take down one of C4's biggest name in the speedball. And watch this, Busick giving Bailey some time to recover. Fully behind Speedball Mike Bailey. As they should be. I don't think it's going to distract Biff Busick one bit, though. He's fully engaged, fully focused. Quick punches. Watch for the kick. It's cut. Ducks under. He's duck under. Flips through to his feet. Does Mike Bailey tucks the big boot? Swimming back. Kick gets caught. Oh. Ducks under again. Busick with a boot to the face. Bailey stays on his feet. Oh! <laughs> That just rocked Busick's clock. Wow. Mike Bailey, laser-like precision with those kicks. Ali, being a man who's taking those kicks, you got to know it's not a good feeling at all. I got to tell you, I didn't think Mike Bailey would be that powerful when he kicked my skull in. I swear I thought I was having a con like, I thought I had a concussion right away. I didn't know where I was. I blacked Jumps out. Jumps up. Oh! oh! One, two, no! <laughs> Bailey threw himself up. Let him that corkscrew splash. Busick had enough to get out of it. Corkscrew, corkscrew splash. It's hard to say. Oh! oh wow, what a kick. Mike Bailey, like, we've seen this all season. Mike Bailey has been like a raging dragon since losing the C4 title this season premiere. Mike Bailey has been destroying everybody. He has been like a dragon. Oh my God! Oh, oh the shooting star knees does not connect. Busick now catches him. Deadlift. Look at this strength. Busick spins him around. Lynch picks him up. No reversal. Oh. Lands the 450 kick. You see the way Busick landed on that ring apron. Come on, Busick, come on. Crowd getting come on. out of the way now. Bailey known to fly. Oh, oh, top. oh my god, no! Oh. <laughs> Springboard for the outside. Oh, Mike yeah. Bailey, the master of shooting star, presses the master of corkscrew splashes, the master of 630 centons. Just caught him. Just missed to catch Busick. Both men are down. But Pip Music, he's been impressive here in the C4 TV. But oh, God! Mike Bailey getting fired up. Don't take that shit, Bailey! What a run he has lined up as the crowd is getting out of the way. He gets caught! Wow! Busick landed that with expertise, laser precision. Picture perfect timing for the CZW champion. Drops Mike Bailey, but picks these fans up to their feet. Wow. Lifts up Mike Bailey now. 
Busick giving another European uppercut. Bailey a receipt after that big European uppercut. Look at this. Goodness, what's he got in him now? Moving more fans out of the way. They're not moving fast enough, though. What's Busick? Sorry, I was going to Busick for a second. Busick now hooks Bailey. Biff Busick getting fired up. Oh, he's got oh. Body, 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 head! Just connects the head kick. This is Mike Bailey. Rapid fire kicks. Accents. Accents with that kick to the face of Busey. I have felt those kicks before in rapid succession. You don't know what hit you. You don't know which part of your body you hit And the CZW champion in a world of trouble here from Speedball. World of hurt. Now Bailey looks like he's going up top. The question is decision making. Taking some time though. Oh! Strike catches him. Busek again catches Bailey. Oh my God! Oh! I've never seen a cutter. A cutter is so much for the wrestling. I've never seen it from that angle before. No, I've never seen him use that top rope in that manner. That was well done. The CCW champion. Yes, that's why he's a champion. Busick now. Ragdoll Bailey back into the ring. What's he got? What's he got lined up over here? Bad intentions from Mike Bailey. I wouldn't be surprised that Back K calls this match out of sheer concern for Mike Bailey. Somebody call Mike Bailey's mama. Oh yeah. Ali, you talked earlier about how those suplexes are absolutely devastating, especially. Wow. That's it. One, two, three, and oh my gosh! You've got to be kidding. Mike That's Bailey. instinct. Mike wow. Bailey doesn't even know where he is. That was just instinct to kick out. I only think about this too. In our last season finale, Mike Bailey was winning the C4 title. And now he's got to sit back and watch as Scotty O'Shea defends the title tonight against Bucks Belmont. That's a bit of fire. That's a while, yeah. And our season eight premiere, Mike Bailey is free to challenge for the C4 title. He's picked up. Oh! Music no, powers him up. Oh. Um, he's not done yet. Trifecta from Busick. Wait, triangle choke. Triangle choke. He's got it. Got locked on. He's got it locked in. He's choked out Eddie Kingston with this. He's choked out Matt Traymon with this. Busick tries to hold on. What does Busick have? Oh, no. He's fading. He's fading. He's fading. He's fading. Crowd's calling. Crowd's calling for the tap out. Busick's holding on. Busick. And a desperation. Passes out as he goes over the rope. Mike Bailey, he got slammed onto the ring apron, but still has enough to get a triangle choke on the Piff Busick. Are you kidding me? Where does Mike Bailey get this kind of indomitable spirit from? Wow. Unfreaking believable. Music getting second wind. He's back up on his feet before Bailey. Walks in the half of that. Tries going for it, fights him off. Bailey with the kick to the stomach. Springboard. Oh! oh! Cuts off. A little bit of a low kick. Back in. Back in, letting it go. A little bit of a low kick. And that's just been the story of this match, Ali. Every time Bailey really wants to get going, Busek's right there to cut him off. Oh, Set a power bomb. Gut wrench into a power bomb. Oh, that was 
two, two and three quarters. Almost oh, out into the crowd. Two and nine tenths. Shoot. Biff Busick, he might have come in here as an unknown, but he is putting everybody on notice. I've been impressed by what I've seen so far. I'm speechless by what I've seen so far. Biff Busick's for real. He just needs to land that knockout blow. I mean, every time I see his matches, I'm left speechless. Another champion. Oh, God. This will kill him right here. Going toe to toe with Oh, God. Bailey survived the first one. You're not going to survive this one. Fights off Busick. Down goes Busick. Oh, he's set up. He's down. Bailey knows where he is. Bailey knows exactly where he is. Busick's in a bad way here. May want to move out of the way if he's got enough in him. Bailey. Bailey. Oh. <laughs> Comfortable, Chaz. It's going to take some time. How many, nick how many nicknames do we have? Nickname man, David Sir. Well, that would be 13, so. That's what I'm saying. That's his 13th nickname. David Starr, Matt Angel, one of the marquee matches here tonight. A match, a match I've been looking forward to seeing. Boom Shagalak. Here we go, Starr and Angel. This match could easily steal the show. That angel gets better and better every time I see him step in the ring here. Fast rising competitor out of Montreal. David Starr made to the finals of the WXW 16 Carat Tournament, a prestigious tournament in Germany. Recently debuted in Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Always a pleasure to have him here. 16 carrots, maybe you should have a match with Space Monkey. 16 carrots versus a dozen bananas. Already neutralizing Angel is Star. Where that Angel's not want to be. Trips him up there. Oh, yeah, nice roll through. Oh, look at that Davey wrestling. Grip on the wrist. No, Angel reverses, sends Star in. Almost through the legs. A fast press into a cover. Nicely done by David Star. Kicks the off cartwheel. Hits the ropes. Right down onto his face. 
Rice here. Into the cover. Variation of the ghetto clutch. Hang on, small package here. Duck and duck and duck and duck. I don't even know what I just saw. That was way too much for me to, to be able to call. Incredible counter after counter after counter. Star walks right into that drop kick. That angel looks like he's gonna fly. Oh, David Starr out of the way. Takes a walk. Star, the ultimate tactician. Angel, he doesn't want this action to stop. He's inviting Star right back into the ring. One of the biggest matches of Matt Angel's career. Against an international talent like David Starr. Starr back in and then leaves just as quickly as he came back in. Trying to get in the head of Matt Angel, perhaps. Trying to frustrate him. Again, Almost took out the photographer. Able to avoid it. Star slowing down the pace, which is what he wants to do. Does, doesn't want to let Matt Angel get in that, that, that top gear. He's grinding that forearm in his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Angel getting a little fired up here. Oh, 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 oh drop One shot, and he goes down. Star cuts him off, however. Steps up and catches him right in the face with that boot. Angel follows him up, falls him out this time. And the fun of that chop. <laughs> a lot of mustard from Star. I don't know if you want to get in a strike battle with David Star. Star fires back. Benny with the count. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 there you go. That one echoed through the building. Oh, elbow right in the top of the head. Lord, that angel with that. Hey, God, what's Star got here? He's got a chair. This is not no disqualification. You have to kick on your fat ass. Not usually something you see from the David Star playbook. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I know what he's going for here. Punches Angel in the ribs. Angel. Oh! Counters, man, just wraps his foot around the back of his head there. David Angel Star taking a seat. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Yes! A flying double stop! Almost a drop kick. Hey, your fat ass broke a chair. Star's in trouble. Angel setting him up down a chair. Set up again. Oh, he went for it a second time. David Star caught him. Makes him think about it. Elliot up back, suplex on the apron. Star in to break, break the count, at least for himself. Rolls back outside. Not a smart move by Star there. He could have taken the easy count out win. He might. Referee was already up to a count of seven. If Star would have just stayed in there, easily, definitely. Look, we're already up to the three count. That's how many seconds left he had to win this match. Star absolutely planted Angel on that apron. Not a smart move by Star. The Jewish cannon unloading on that Angel. the blood rush to the head. Man, standing vertical suplex. Only gets two. Did you see
see him grabbing that chest. Took that massive double stop, now torquing the hand of Angel. Look at this. He's got that arm trap. Oh my God. He could have dislocated his shoulder, or his elbow. We're not sure officials checking on him here. Angel's grabbing at that elbow. Matt Angel's already coming into this contest with an injured nose. They've hyperextended that elbow there. Angel's still fighting back though, amazingly. Matt Angel had his nose broken back in January. It still hasn't properly healed. That elbow could come into play as well. Star went to counter. But instead, Angel countered the counter with a Hurricane Rana. Angel building momentum, still grabbing at that elbow though. Drop star again with those forearms. Oh, God! A back body drop into the turnbuckle. Innovative offense from Star only gets two. Both men showing the damage of this, this contest. Look at the look on the face of Star. Angel goes to another corner. Brutal chop. Put up by another one. Oh, look at this series of chops and forearms. Over and over. Pounding away on, on Matt Angel in the corner here. Davey Wrestling firing up. No, look at Angel. Oh, Angel firing up here. Series of kicks. Catches that last one. Looked like right in the temple that caught him. Sent to the apron. Here comes Star. Right in the ear with that kick. He caught him. Watch Angel. Meteora. Good God. Pin Pin Star. Please. Hooked him. No. Absolutely planted star with that Meteora. He caught him flush with that one. Not enough to put him away though. Set up for sliced bread, no, star shoves him off. Angel lands on his feet though, rolls through. Gets caught, no, no! Star rolls out of the ring. Angel gonna fly to the heavens! Suicide dive! He's not done! Knocks him back into about the fourth row! Steering! Angel's gonna fly again! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god, he drove him! Head first with a DDT on the apron! He's stunned! Went for the hand stance and no! No! Big cutter! Springboard tilt to Angel all the covers. No! Man, Star barely got the shoulder up. What a match, what a match. These fans, oh man, these fans are not happy with that one. They thought that was a three for sure. How Angel is able to recover from that DDT, I don't even know. Set him up for the falling angel. Charges in here. Falling oh, angel. Star hangs on. Blocked. Oh no. Oh my. Gonna go for the release German. Oh my oh! god. Release German off the top rope. Hand stance in. That's it. Side. Sealed. No. Oh my god, Angel keeps out. Hang on, Star right back on top of him. Oh, that's it, that's Brain it. Buster on the knee. Sealed. No. Oh my god. Basement super kick. Side. Sealed. No. Oh my god. The hell? What is it going to take?
goddamn right. I'm speechless. Almost literally. I'm losing my voice here. This is an incredible matchup. Angel survived the hand stance and that devastating lariat. Survived that brain buster over the knee, survived that super kick. What is it going to take? Star does like to use that deadlift German suplex. Oh God, clubs Angel. Nothing fancy about that. That was a straight club to the side of the head. Star's got him on his shoulders. Working his way up to the top here. He's climbing the ropes with Angel up on his shoulders. Oh, Angel fighting out of this somehow. Sets a no. Got caught. Palm strike. Jumps up, falling Angel. This is. Wow! Absolute huge victory for Matt Angel here. Star doesn't even know where he's at. The Vanier Rumble, the show of appreciation for the fans here at the VCC for an absolutely blockbuster contest. My God. Justice and Cecil Nix at his side. Has it been enough to get back on the fans' side? We will see tonight in a singles match. Tyson Dukes versus Pepper Parks. Let's go to a conference for more participants. Hey Pepper, what do you think about Tyson Dukes? Tyson Dukes? Tyson, Tyson's great. Um, maybe Tyson, Tyson was great. I mean, I don't know if you guys know this, but just turned 40 years old, so you know what I mean? That's like maybe kind of a sign to. <laughs> just turned 40. <laughs> you ain't no spring chicken either, man. Thank you, man. Oh. Yo, 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 yo,
Dr. Bob, I've been looking forward to this one since it was announced. Pepper Parks, Tyson Dukes, one-on-one -on -one here in a C4 ring. Two of the absolute best you can find. I don't know if I'm allowed to pick a favorite, but this is going to be one of the ones I've been looking forward to the most tonight. These two men wrestle, and they wrestle hard, let me tell you. Ever since siding with Twiggy, having to fall out with Twiggy, and is kind of just trying to more establish himself as somebody that could be more of a favorite guy as the C4 man. Trying to win back some favorites. Come on, come on! Good performances, strong fights, and you'll get back right up there. Pepper Parks on his side. He's been gone from C4 for uh, many years, years, three years, I believe. His last match was a tag team matchup, so this will only be C4's second match, his second appearance here. First singles match, he's got a lot to prove. You get those continued bookings here at C4, you've got to win. Uh, this is correct here, Dr. Bob. Wow. It was the season finale two years ago, and it was a triple threat matchup. Right. A multi man matchup, but you know what? He didn't get the win that night, he's got to win it here tonight. Tyson Dukes, you hear it, still getting that mixed reaction. Get some fan appreciation. Let's get some booze. Just for it. Very worth it. Yeah, I mean, he had a part in the, that campaign by Twiggy and his army. It's going to take a lot to get back on the races. Fans here in 2 4 Oh, Pepper Parks goes low. Strikes her. Whatever you want to call him, Pepper Parks, Braxton Sutter. This guy is Jack. This guy is well seasoned, well experienced. There's going to be no pushover whatsoever for Tyson Dukes. Sometimes you see big. Oh! Oh! Nice job. Sometimes you can see guys that size relying on just their strength game. But Pepper Parks is an all arounder. You can many style any opponent. He knows how to adapt. Oh my! I would not chop with Tyson Dukes nine out of ten times. But you know, I think Pepper can stand his ground. These two men also teachers, Dr. Bob. They've trained wrestlers. We see a few of them on tonight's card as well from Buffalo. Whoa, back and forth with the chops. This is all what I was looking forward to, that smash mouth style of wrestling. Park sends Dukes to the outside. Just like I was talking about, Pepper Parks has that quickness and speed to complement his strength. Oh my goodness. Wow. Knocks Dukes right to the front row. Guys, can't win the Maybe even if he rose back, hard to see. I don't think our charms move that easily anymore. Dukes fires back. Arms, those elbows, those chops. I don't want to be a recipient on any one of them, but it's a pleasure to watch these two. Dukes firing off the elbows now, gonna build some momentum. Park still in the chair. Oh! Go! Oh, fans, okay over there. Somebody go check on them, please. We do like repeat customers here. Absolutely. That was quite an impactful hit there from Pepper Parks. Let's see if he can recover. Duke's now gonna bring it to the other side. Charge is in. No, oh, Sutter. Oh, I mean Parks. Whatever you want to call him. Just clobbered Tyson Dukes. Have you heard that kind of an ovation and that kind of noise for a forearm? Anybody better check their teeth? Knocked him off anybody that might have underappreciated this matchup when it was announced. It's well, shame on you if you did. Absolutely. Wow. Power slam by Parks. Wraps the Chris leg up. Crossing. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That was a thing of beauty. These two guys are so good in every style. A professional wrestling, and it's going to be a battle to try to one up. What's going to end up? It's going to be a mistake, I believe, for one of these two opponents that's going to change the tide of it. 
Well, you're seeing it here, Dr. Bob. This might be the mistake that Parks is making, giving Tyson Dukes some time to recover, that some time to get back into his realm. Well, he's giving himself a breather, too, at this point. Look at that. Trust me, this match is taking a lot out of both opponents. Oh, bye. <laughs> Parks is not holding back whatsoever. Whips him to the ropes, takes him down. That hooking type clothesline. Referee for almost a three. Dukes has not been in this ever since taking the Any one of these crack to the face on the outside. I was surprised the match wasn't finished then. Any one of these strikes is a game hinder, though. Get a dig deep to try to kick out some of these chops and some of these forms that we've seen. Dukes up to his feet, throws the elbows in the stomach of Parks. Off the ropes, Parks drops down. Nice leapfrog, takes him down yet again. These quick pins, I like it, hooking the leg. Look at how far he leans back. Dukes has to use all of his weight to try to kick out of that one. After Parks getting frustrated. Parks had to drive all the way up here from Buffalo to lose tonight, no siree. Getting the crowd behind him. Parks gonna go for a top rope maneuver. Possibly an elbow, we'll see. Oh, he's waiting for his opponent to stand up. Catches him again and again with the chops. Oh no! Watch oh, out! Super flex. Watch out! Whoa! Fans! Rewatch that move! They floated in midair! Hell, rewatch this match! This there was some sort of levitation trick because those two got sky high, and let me Ooh. tell you. This one is still in the show right here, Dr. Bob. Throw these two matches in, crossing the line 11. Ooh. We knew it was going to be a great one. And we're starting off hot and heavy. Duke sits up, feeling it from the crowd. The ref has deemed him not completely up yet, so the count continues. Parks grabs the middle rope, trying to get back to his feet, there's Tyson. So we continue the match. It is not declared a double count out. Again, clobbers with a forearm. Dukes with one. Back and forth they go with the forearms. Battle of attrition, shot after shot. It's got to be a lot of achievement in that ring to try to think you can stand with each other. Back and forth, throwing some serious bombs. Dukes has him on the ropes. The referee counting to five. You cannot continue to strike your opponent when he's draped over the ropes. Oh, jeez. Folks, do you hear that one? Is this St. Anthony's Banquet Hall or is this Currican Hall? Grabs the leg. Oh, hits him harder than me. Back suplex, rolls Holds right into the cover. To it. No. That was beautiful. Almost a float over. He held on to it to give over a quicker pin. That split extra second that he saved could have been the deciding factor in this matchup. Tyson Duke, so good. Hit the back suplex, rolled right over the pin, but not enough to put away Parks. Remember Boston Crab? Remember Parks has taken some very, very stiff suplex in this matchup. The damage went down to the back. And he was his game plan as well. I think he saw that the scale made that happen with the strikes. He wanted to switch it up for a submission. Chard is in. Parks moves out of the way. Oh, oh. kick. Here comes Dukes now. Close line of the corner. Drops Pepper. Catches him. Spy Buster. That might be all, Goes folks. over. High angle leg. No. Always the tactician, and then a technician, I should say, always grabs a leg, holds on to it, makes it extra difficult, tiring Tyson Dukes out every single time he tries to kick out. And there have been a lot of pinfalls, ladies and gentlemen. It is on purpose. These two men know that if they can tire the other out, they'll get that advantage. Dr. Bob, there's a lot of upstart wrestlers here tonight. They should pay attention to this matchup. It's a master class. Spins around, Parks now the backslide. Takes Dukes over, only gets two. Oh, it's the knee to the face. Oh, Another for Dukes trying to go for perhaps a double leg. Oh, wow. Parks kick holding. After kick, knee after knee. Not holding back whatsoever. Setting up for a 
Oh. Foster with the swing. That might be all. Covers. No, sir. He great find the other leg as well. Can't kick out as easily. And you know what? I don't know what is going to happen at this point. One of them is going to have to just flat out knock him out. This, one. this is only the second match, though. What a precedent we're setting here in the season finale. Mark's gonna go for that elbow, maybe. Second attempt, this might be it. Up top. Dukes moves out of the way. With this bad leg, though. Saito. Could he recover as fast as he wanted to. Saito suplex. Drops him down. Follows That's up. Dirty. Now turns him over. Chop up. Sets up for the Sin City clutch. Parks has got three options. Fight out, pass out, or tap out. He taps, he taps, oh. he taps. Tyson with a huge win in a huge battle. Fans, I'm going to rewatch this one. Wow. What a contest, Adam. For anybody who undersold this matchup, Pepper Parks, Tyson Dukes just put on an absolute clinic and just set the bar for tonight. At end of days, we saw a huge challenge laid down. Fight or flight versus heavy metal chaos for the tag team championships. However, there's an added stipulation here. If fight or flight loses, they must dis disband forever in C4 Wrestling. Heavy metal chaos does have the advantage having won against fight or flight every single opportunity that they've had in a normal two on two matchup. So we'll see if tonight can be different. Fight or flight puts it all on the line and the stipulation here will be monumental for the face of tag team wrestling here at C4. And now we go to comments. Fight or flight. I am an honest man. Do you believe me when I tell you that in a world, in a reality, where HMC doesn't exist, you are hands down the best tag team in C4 wrestling. But unfortunately for you, that reality, it doesn't exist. And this team, it's very real. We've faced each other countless times. And although you've come close, you have never beaten us. Not once. And I know you're going to argue that you took the tag team titles from us last June. But who did you pin? Not us. And then when we got our shot, we took it. And we ripped these tag team belts right out of your hands. And for the last eight months, we've been dominating this division. And even though we did, you guys are sticking around. You, you guys are like cockroaches, like a disease. Don't worry, because the exterminators are here now. So what that means, boys, is that you got your shot. But when you blow it, like you usually do, you're done. Fight or flight is finished. You can start your singles careers. We don't care, because we got plans. We got plans for this team, we got plans for these belts, and we got plans for this company. And none of them
have here at St. Anthony's All C4 new venue, May 25th, 2018. This is They Live and We Are ecstatic to welcome you here. I'm joined here with Prince, Prince Rahim Ali. This match started hot. Drop kicks to the tag team. And you know, this has huge. Dive outside, and here it comes from. for this high team title matchup. If Fight or Flight finally can defeat the feet, their nemesis here in Heavy Metal Chaos, it will be the first time that they can become new tag team champions. But if they lose, they will never tag here in C4 again. Which I'm okay with, because they're a terrible tag team. Oh, double stop, what a beautiful double team move. This might be over as quick as it started. That's a very close chance. There you go. You know, they're gonna give up 100% too. So Rahim Ali, who do you give the advantage to here? I gotta go with my trap door DDT. I gotta go with Heavy Metal Chaos. Yeah. I've seen them as a tank. Fight or flight is all sizzle, no steak. That's your opinion. Punch your mother in the face to win a match. They are beautiful. By the way, speaking of beautiful, this hall is awesome. It looks like my bedroom. It's just missing three king-sized beds. You know how WCW had World War III? I call my bedroom World War III. Because there's almost three different women in there. Almost gets to three. A little distracted by the comments here. But very apropos, oh, this is a beautiful wall. You're distracted, man. I guess I'm staring at Dr. Bob. By the way, what are you with Dr. Bob? Are you with Dr. Nick? No, no, or no. Or Dr. Quinn, medicine woman? No, no. I have never are you with Dr. staring at children while they play in the park? No. Beautiful girl. Look at that. Ramming them in the corner. You like I in the corner, don't you? Don't I didn't study ball. six years for this abuse. <laughs> you studied six years to be able to do this? You're pathetic. Well, that is your opinion. But hey, oh! And a nice chop. And there's a nipple souvenir for an ugly fan in the front row. Pay 30 bucks, 20 bucks, and you get to take something home with you. Hoist him up to the top, the size vanish always with Alex Red in this tag team. See, that's the beauty. Doing isolation, keep them in the corner. Alex Stem is not doing anything flashy. Are He's we? just breaking them down. And these two Guys guys like are that. as close as brothers, let me tell you. So they always know what each other's thinking. Huge stakes, and what a great way to start off the show. Back. Good job cutting them off. Where's a down from a bigger man? They cut off there with a knee to the gut. And they really got a rally, I think. The advantage already is with Heavy Metal Chaos. See, it's a mental game. If you're in a tag team, you basically decide what kind of tag team you're going to be. And spring cutter! And spring cutter. Beautifully executed. Off of some That's what I was saying. Fight or flight are literally living by that name. They fight and they fly a lot. Whereas Heavy Metal Chaos, they just straight up knock you down. Not too much for that, though. But that is a beautiful Did you see the height of the heavens? Why we have the higher ceilings here, Prince? Oh, a step up Rana. Sends him to the corner. Coast to coast. Gives him a flipping attack. Flipping attack, yes. wow. You are a doctor of wrestling. Thank you. And the Gammon Geary there. Hey, you covered on there. A little, throw on a little Japanese. You're covered there. Thank you. Yeah, it gets him the drop. Flip. Oh, this might be all. They almost won their tag team championships. Well, I mean, their tag team is on the line here. Have you ever seen them wrestle singles? I have seen them wrestle singles, not here in C4 yet, though. It's like watching a no-armed man play golf. It's wow. terrible. And it's so they've got to fight to stay as a tag team. Well, I'll fight or fly to accomplish that these singles or tag, but I know them here and how much they enjoy tagging with each other. It'd be a shame to see it end like this, especially against the disrespect that Heavy Metal Chaos has shown them month after month. No! Stone saw that coming. As you said, they've been wrestling month after month. Stone saw that coming. Wow! DVD slash Bacoli driver right in the middle of the ring. Beautiful positioning. Break up by Vertigo. There's a way. Ring awareness to realize that he had to get in and it up. And there's a spear. Alex has pinned tons of opponents with that spear. Almost cuts him in half. That might be all. Maybe setting up for their tag team maneuver. He's got him. Throws him off the top for that huge knee. We've seen them pin Fighter Flight many times with this. Oh, good night. Wow, it was a valiant.
an effort. And, oh, Alex Stem. Where's the Caesar? Alex Stem not paying attention to what was going on. He was at the last oh, time to the save. It was too cocky there. Oh, you know nothing about that, eh? I don't know, Aaron, I don't know a lot about cocky. No Wait, no, I take that back. Sorry, Tucker. I didn't mean to arouse you. Speechless and go in. That knee shiver goes in, and again, Stone's so good at keeping his opponent right in the middle of the ring. That positioning. Maybe a slightly bigger ring that we have here tonight. Are they going for it again? Are they going for it again? This time was Forza, though. This might be all. Where's up? No, it trashes it. Headbutt. The first time they have reversed their move. Alex Stem just finds Stone. Miscommunication. Have you ever seen heavy metal chaos? Miscommunicate. Yet. And then we have the new tag team! Fire! 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 Our new tag team champions! Fire! Our flight have just finally vanquished their demons and beat Heavy Metal Chaos! They do not have to spin off! They are the C4 Tag Team Champions! What a way to start off main lift, ladies and gentlemen!
and the story so Matt Angel a part of this matchup. Just slam Frankie down on the ring apron. Grayson just slammed Durst. Udo and Sejan right in front of us. I don't know where the hell Twiggy went. I don't know where the hell to look. The last match ever, the BCC. Why not have it be a chaotic fight? FTM and Dubois in a sea of chairs. Oh, oh crap. God! Twiggy just launched into the red chair. Into some fans. I lost sight even when I down there somewhere. Durst is slapping. Grayson, we're going to try to. Dubois just threw Twiggy into the chair. There's so much action going on here. As we see it, we'll call it. Yeah. Oh, God. Durst sends Grayson face first into the pump. <laughs> Sejan Canudo getting Dane so close to us. Dane is so close. They've all seemed to condense into one little section now. How does Sejan Canudo that is? FTM getting close to us. Wanders, they're coming our way, Chaz. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> right in front of us here. Oh, the to whack on the on the stage. oh Jesus. Frankie just rocked. Matt Angel with a forearm. Grayson with a chair. And Angel just went chin first into the back of the chair. Are we getting hospitalized for this? Some Muay Thai knees from Grayson and Durst, the C4 champion. He smashed his mouth down the back of that chair. Here comes Grayson now, up close and personal. Grabbing the table. Moving furniture over here. Watch Grayson, watch Grayson. Here. Watch out! Oh, he up the stage. Catches Durst right on the button. Grayson almost went through the wall. Oh, Frankie! Spears Grayson. Right into the stage. Now who knows? Oh no. Everybody is oh no. no. Here they get choked from Saint Jacques on the Uno. Angel on the stage now. Jazz and I are away from each other. We're getting like a little closer. Oh 
shit! Look at that look on FTM's face. Our stage has been destroyed here. Holy shit! 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 Is this what the battle of the Titanic felt like? Just play it as a sit down.
one more time here in the BCC. Monsieur Dubois, Monsieur Saint-Jean. What are they going for? Going for some plunder. Could be thumbtacks, could be chairs, could be a table. better than anybody what TDT can do with a table. <laughs> a table covered in streamers right now. Setting up in the corner. FTM on the apron, Twiggy in the ring. Everywhere. Can't say I find anything wrong with that. Oh no! Watch Durs, Kobe Breaker! Forearms, Angel, being grabbed by Frank, he can't get back in the ring. I don't even know what that was. He Spins him out and catches him. Drops him down face first. Angel catching first on the way down. Out goes Evil Uno, F2 in the ring, takes a boot. Lift it up now, wow! Pop up power ball. Look at this chaos all over the venue. Hang on, Twiggy from behind. He's got a, he's got a rag. He's got a rag. He's taking him down. That's got to be chloroform. Choking him out now with a chloroform rag. He's suffocating him with that rag. Dubois already been hung in this matchup. Now he's getting put to sleep by chloroform. Oh no, he's up, he's up! He's up! He's near the table! Angel! Watch out! Oh god! Oh my god! All four men! Colliding to that table! Beast King standing tall! Knee strike! Well, he was. I'm not smiling. I'm not smiling right now. Oh, in comes the C4 champion. It's a low blow by Durst. Kobe Durst in there with one of the greatest C4 champions of all time, Stu Grayson. He's got the belt now. That Durst took from him. Oh, smash mouth. Receipt from Grayson, receipt from Durst. Oh, St. Jacques got a chair. Look at this now, St. Jacques, Grayson, Durst, and Uno, all in the ring. <laughs> Why? Why? Ah! Jesus! Around and around with the chairs. Now Sejan 
Baron Durst. Oh! God, he blocked it! Right into the face of Durst. And put the chair back. Now we got it. Uno and Grayson in the ring. And I think Uno realizes it. There's no, nowhere to go. Austin has slung it out with his former best friend, his former brother. Former partners, former champions. Breaker! Nope. Oh, no, Uno fights out. Oh, God, right in the temple. Not this time. He's gonna get him. Oh, wait, there's FTM. Breaker! There's FTM on the apron. No! Durst breaks it up with the championship across the back of the head. Falling oh angel! There's FTM. Beast King's got him. Holds him up. The gorilla press. Falling into a cutter. There's TDT. Dubois say shock. Have the Beast King. FTM doesn't know where he is right now. Gonna go for it again. No, lifts him up. God, a super, super double power up from TDT to the Beast King. FTM's down. TDT needs to finish this off. Oh wait, Twiggy. Twiggy's in the ring by himself. Uno's gone, Durst is gone, FTM's gone. It's just Twiggy. Put up or shut up, Twiggy. Got a long time coming. That's not gonna be enough. That's not gonna be enough. Are you a man or are you a coward, Twiggy? Go, Twiggy! Time. He's telling security yes, yes, not to touch him. Yes, 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 this is what yes, you get, Twiggy, yes, for disrespecting yes, this yes, venue, yes, this company, yes, these fans. Yes, what he just the hell? management. Steven just shoved them back. You want to go? Fuck all of you. This is a raw choice for Twiggy. This man wait, 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 wait. Oh, my God. God. He just threw him back into the ring! This is justice! This is what you get, Twiggy! Cleverly! He's got it, he's got it locked on! Angel's got a Cloverleaf! On Durst! Cloverleaf party! There's four Cloverleafs in the middle of the ring! Well, we get four tap outs! Sitting back. Are they gonna give it up? They do, they do!
incredible history-making war in the last night of Sheep War at the Knights of Columbus, the Vangie Columbus Club, whatever the hell you want to call it. Fans, it's been a long history here. So many great moments, so many incredible matches. Yeah, so many great matches. In May, we move to our new home. We make more memories there. We have even better matches there. I can't wait. Thank you so much, Red Columbus. Capping 10 years off with an incredible history-making match tonight. Another moment. What a fitting moment to leave this place on. For all of us here at C4 Wrestling, thank you for checking us out during our time here. Continue to check us out as we go to St. Anthony's Banquet Hall. Check us out on Powerbomb.tv, SmartMark Video. It's been a great run here, guys. We're on to bigger and better things. One night is spent from all of us here. It's out of me. We're out. Thank you, baby.